Wednesday, May 1st, 2019. It is a little after 3 p.m. We have gotten through the pain in the ass of security and ticketing, and we now have two and a half hours before we leave for Madrid. Okay, this is the beginning of our week in Spain. Bye. Smoggy, ugly LA. A little more than ten and a half, ten and a half hours later, coming into Madrid. It is a little, little after 4:30 a.m. LA time, 1:30 p.m. In, in Madrid and this is Madrid got about maybe two and a half three hours of sleep watched two movies food was decent very different from LAX surroundings This airport is about one one hundredth as busy as LAX. So now we're waiting for a train to go to the main terminal to get our baggage. Hola. Where are you? What city are you in? Yeah, you got to think about it, huh? <laughs> Hurry up. What, what, what city? What you're in. Thank you. Well, I guess this is an older building. This is a very small room. Got an old-fashioned kitchen here. Got three small beds. That's it. Got a modern TV here. So we're going to tidy up and then go walking around Madrid. We got the rest of the afternoon. It's three, a little after 3 p.m. And then we'll be tired, so we're probably going to go to sleep early tonight. But This reminds me of Manhattan. Susan's ducking in and out of shops. And I'm just out on the sidewalk, people watching. Got these old buildings. I think this is a uh, Plaza España, but I'm not really sure. Wow. Oh, that sandwich only costs two, two and a half euros. Four and a half euros. Wow. And all, all these hams hanging on the wall. It's, uh, wow. Interesting. So we're at the uh, Plaza Mayor, big square. And I think right there, somewhere there is the Mercado, which we want to check out. But this is just a big square. I don't know if these are apartments, hotel, I have no idea. People eating. We got some some dude on a horse. 
There's one Korean lady here. So this plaza was Plaza Mayor established in 1848. Uh, this this dude on the horse is Senor Rey Don Felipe the third son of this village that was I don't know La Corte ella, uh, La Corte in 1606 and in 1619 and there right there is the horse's nuts okay so this is the Mercado de San Miguel so we're gonna go in there check it out fresh fish on ice no. Got our beer, got me a uh, anchovy tapas, and they're carving the meat. Susan's going to get some meat. Carving it, carving it up. Oh, baby. Well, it's only 5 o'clock, but we couldn't resist, so we got a couple of sandwiches here. Susan got olives filled with stuff. Excuse me? I got an anchovy tapa and a margarita pizza and some beers. So I guess this is our dinner. A lot of people standing in line for the Palacio Real de Madrid. I guess it's back there. But this line of people goes all the way around and back there. And then this is a cathedral back here. I don't know how, lo how long ago they built this. But that's some serious architecture. This is the line that's going in there. Well, it's 8.30 at night now. After a nice shower and a little rest at the hotel, we're just back walking the main strip again. Earlier today we were on that side, now we're walking this side. Again, it reminds me of Manhattan, crowded. I'm gonna get some gelato. Somebody had to go in here. She said I must go in here. So I'm just sitting on a bench watching the people go by. 10.45 p.m. We got lost. We got totally lost. Had to ask for directions to get back to our hotel. So we're near our hotel now. And we ordered this little fish. I guess this is tapas. I don't really know. Fish on toast. It's good. Beer and wine. Bon appetit. So it is 11:15 Thursday night, May 1st, May 2nd. Excuse me. We are tired from all the traveling. We're going to get a good night's sleep. Wake up at 7 in the morning and take the train and get out of this town, Madrid. So. Goodbye, Madrid. I guess that beer got me a little tipsy. That last one wasn't our hotel. This is our damn hotel right here. Good night, Madrid. 7.15, Friday morning. We're going to the train station. Eight o'clock train to San Sebastian. Here we are at the train station. Good morning. Good morning, honey.
Wow, these plants are huge. So now we have to go find out uh, where our train is departing from. Penny, you don't have to uh, stress no more. We made our train. We missed our first train because of a mix-up. We had to buy new tickets and it's 9.05. This train left on the dot. We're leaving Madrid. Now we have a four-hour train ride to San Sebastian. So we got some food, some sandwiches, coffee, water. Got my book. Okay, I'll give you some scenery, scenery along the way. Bye. So just 10 minutes out of the train station, it's just wide open country. At least in the direction we're going. Rolling hills. I don't know what kind of trees these are. Looks like an olive tree. Oh my god, there's two. I don't know if you can see, but uh, there's deer. Two of them. There's deer all, 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 all around here. There's a lot. There's a farm. There's a deep valley down there. So we're five hours and 45 minutes into our trip and finally we've got some uh, structure to see other than flat agricultural lands and small towns. But what we just found out was that we originally missed our 8 a.m. train this morning. We got confused and missed it by five minutes. So we had to ended up having to spend 100 euros and buy two new tickets. And our train left at 9.05 instead of 8. Well, the 8 o'clock was more of an express train. and It would have taken maybe 5 hours and 15 minutes. This one, we're already 5 hours and 45 in. And we still got a couple more hours, which is going to bring this trip close to an 8-hour train ride. Oy vey. We are about 7 hours and 40 minutes into our train ride from hell. We are in Basque Country. It is cloudier, colder, and wetter than central Spain. We've got 5 more stops and approximately 30 to 40 minutes to our final destination of San Sebastian. Oh lordy lordy lordy. We have arrived in San Sebastian. This is the canal and the beach is out over there. The train station is over there. And we're trying to get a taxi or we might walk to the hotel which is a mile from here. Well, it's been nine hours since our train left Madrid. And we are in Hotel Codina in San Sebastian. The beach is just on the other side of this hotel here. And this room is much nicer, much nicer than the Madrid Hotel. What? Let's, let's check out we the bathroom. Do it again? And we have to go back down to the front registration desk because the way you turn the light on is you use your room key and you stick it in there. So you have to just leave it there. Apparently. Well, what is this? El Papa Ecologico. Oh, it's just a... There you go. Okay. Hi. <laughs> so we left the hotel. The hotel is about three blocks that a ways. And we walked along this street. Got a lot of little shops and bakeries and places to eat. So we're just exploring right now. There's a little square over here. Someone is doing some shopping. And someone already did some shopping. Oh yeah, we're gonna walk to the beach and eat. Susan bought her a new scarf. We find this nice little park to walk in. And right over there, 
is the ocean. That would be the some, some part of the Atlantic. I believe it's the Bay of Biscay, but I'm not 100% positive on that. Ocean over there. Nice park here. And we're going to sit down near the water and eat some baguette and cured meats. Oh, baby, that baguette cost 90, .90 euros and it's so good. So good. So the 45 minutes we've been outside here in San Sebastian already is 10 times better than Madrid was. Bye. The taxi driver said up here is the best view of the whole city. Bunch of houses there. Here's the bay. There's an island over there. Ah, this is lovely. I don't know if I could catch any fish down there. But I'm not going to try because I didn't bring my pole. What a lovely little city this is. It's cold. Tomorrow's supposed to rain. Someone is writing postcards. Okay, so we're getting ready to go meet up with Joe and Sharon, but check it out. It is 9 p.m. And look how bright it is. I thought you know, it was only like that in Norway and Alaska, but we're in San Sebastian. And it's 9 o'clock, and look at this. It looks like it's like 5 o'clock. Lord have mercy. Friday, or actually Saturday, 12.55 a.m. San Sebastian time. Say goodnight, my love. <laughs> what you got to say? You say something Mr. Tarnowski? No. And who's the lady behind the map? Nobody. So the, our first night in San Sebastian, we got a really nice hotel compared to the one we had in Madrid. But are, but are we using it? We ain't even using it. We're going to spend the night here. And then next door is here. And the wall, the walls are that thin. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Good morning. It is Saturday. It is noon. We just left the apartment. Susan slept till 11.30 a.m. We, we, last night we ate and drank and the wine knocked her out, but we needed to sleep anyway. I got a little less sleep, but I still got some good sleep. So we are walking through the trendy part of San Sebastian where their apartment is and we slept at their apartment last night. This boy is cutting up some pig leg. Wow. This is just like Italy. It's a square. It's got surrounded by apparently hotel rooms. Yeah, they got four apartments. They all got numbers on them. And people drinking their coffee. Turn around. It's brunch at the Cantoy Cafe. So we got two of these cheese and jamon sandwiches. Got two croissants. Got three cafe americanos and one cafe con leche. Bon appetit. So this is <clears throat> this is a local bakery, and I'm standing in line because there's a long, long line, and it's next to the place we ate breakfast. So I asked Sharon, "What's this line for?" And they said, it, they, "Everybody goes here for bread." So I'm gonna buy some bread. Got Basque and Spanish and French. All the breads, all the breads, croissants, 
So a three minute walk from from the, where we were and we're back at the San Sebastian Beach. When it, this goes out to the open ocean, you can see the water gets a lot darker there. I think later we're going to walk up there. I think that's the plan. But for now, this is this is what we got, baby. Fresh bread. Pull that bread out, please. Please. Oh my goodness. And look at this. Pepperoni and what do you call that? Hamon. This was only 3 euros, but this one was 18 euros. 